Peace and love, everyone, and welcome back to Construction Simulator. We have the new LaBear machine pack. This is the Telehandler T69S, and it will be quite handy. It is in it between the JCB and the Zanny Telehandler, in size, I should say. And then we have the new excavator. The 938, which is smaller than the excavator we already had, which is just right there, the 956. And then we have a new articulating dump truck, the TA230, as you see there. We have a new dozer over there, and also, I'm going to show you this one real quick. So, much bigger dozer than what we have currently. The one that we had before the pack was this one, the 736. Now we have this big one, the 756. So it's a whole 30 tons bigger than what we had before. And this is our front loader that we had before the pack. And now we have this kind of dozer, loader, track kind of thing. It's really cool. I mean, it's a little small, but it's, it's really, really cool. I think it looks dope. We also got a crane. Uh, oh, we also got this thing. A trailer concrete mixer. So that will be pretty handy. Uh, but if you want to see my full review on these machines, then do check out my video. Um, I'll leave it in the link down below. I just got scared from thunder. That was a big... <laughs> Big boom from the thunder. Um, <laughs> I hope I picked that up on the mic. That'd be crazy. Uh, so I have both these dump trucks here because I wanted to see the capacity of this new dump truck um, compared to our Doosan. And for me, I find the Doosan being the most, like, that has the biggest capacity. Uh, I mean, so we're going to try first this new little guy. How many scoops it'll take. So count it. One. It does look smaller than the Doosan. I was standing beside it when I was getting everything set up here. And it does look smaller. There's two scoops. So we're just going to go based off of scoops. Now, if they brought that dump truck in the game. Like, like the dump truck and the new excavator both came in the game at the same time. So... Probably they were expecting the new excavator, which is smaller than this one, and that dump truck to be used together, right? That makes sense. But we got a big job here, so we need to use the biggest machines we have. I was hoping we got a bigger excavator, but as I've said, the other one is uh, a 36, 936. So 36 ton. This one is a 56 ton excavator. It's the same size as the... Um, caterpillar excavator that we have in the game so both are the biggest capacities I believe that's five scoops I kind of lost count this will be number six now, I, w I was gonna look up specs and stuff and <laughs> I mean I I'm just a fool um, because I thought I got the entire year two season pass, like, gifted to me. But I only got the pickup truck. And now I've gotten also the LaBear pack oh, gifted to me from the amazing creators, Astragon. So thank you to Astragon for giving me the the product key to show all of you amazing viewers of mine this new la bear pack again i do have a video just talking about all the new stuff that we've gotten in the month of april so far let me just check how full this is okay one more scoop we're about i think we're at eight scoops if someone could watch you know Scroll back in the video and let me know. I'm pretty sure it was eight scoops, though. It should be 
the last one. Let's see now. Yep. All right. Last one. So it took eight scoops to fill the LaBear dump truck. So now we're going to work on the deuce I am. And the deuce sand is the dump truck of choice by me. It's always done me well. Unlike the caterpillar one, stuff falls out of the back. The Zanny one, you would expect it to be the biggest capacity, but we tested the one time and it was not. The Dew Sand and the Caterpillar were the two with the biggest capacity. And then obviously the the smaller dump trucks that we got. The Kenworth, the Mac, the Man. Um yeah, those ones are smaller. But those dump trucks, the non-articulating dump trucks, we, and I, I have messaged Astragon, I've commented it plenty of times in the live chat while they've been live streaming, that they should add new trailers. Um, if they don't want to add a bunch of new trailers, just the one trailer so that we can tow it with dump trucks and put like an excavator on the back. Now I get it. You want to be realistic here. So the biggest dump truck, like the biggest excavator we could probably put on there right now would be probably the one that we got. The, the uh, 936, you know, we could probably put that on the back. The JCB one we could put on the back. This one though, this one could not go on the trailer towed by a dump truck. I mean, you could, but I don't know how legal it would be, you know? Like, <laughs> you have to be overweight for that trailer. <laughs> I got a lot of count because I'm chatting, but I'm pretty sure we're at that was six scoops. We can always do this again. It's not like we don't have a lot of dirt to play with here. Uh, oh no! All right, we're pretty good. I'm pretty sure that was seven. Or let's say six. We will do this test again. <laughs> That's for sure. Because I lost count too many times. Yeah, if you guys don't know, we did get a new hot fix 11.1. .1, and we got a new contract on the U.S. and European map. Uh, European map, you got a park and a playground. And for the U.S. map, we got a tea house. Sulfathic fighting. I like tea. That's about nine scoops now, so it's definitely a bigger capacity than the LaBear. But, again, I will do this test again. Because I kind of lost count. <laughs> ah, Deuce Hand's not even full yet. Jesus. Okay, we will. Empty these trucks. Six thousand. Jeez. Yeah, okay. It's definitely looking like the LaBear one is a little it's smaller. <laughs> Just a little bit. One. Count with me, kids. <laughs> one. One scoop. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> we got two. Two scoops. Ah, ah, ah. We got three! Three scoops of dirt! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> I'm sure all my viewers would know exactly what that is. You know? If you're a viewer of mine and you don't know what I was doing, you definitely were born in the 2000s. <laughs> Okay, what was that? Four? This is five? Damn it, I lost count again. <laughs> this definitely had to be five. <laughs> Six.
Let's see where we're at. Oh, that can't be right. I have to have been missing this dump truck. I don't see any remnants that I've been missing it. All right, well, we're at nine scoops, okay? Remember that, nine. Nine scoops of dirt. That was 10. That's gotta be it now, right? Wow! We could probably get one more. So 13 scoops, if I'm correct. We can get one more. Let's get let's get one more, boys. One more scoop in the dump truck we got. How many? But we've gotten at least like over twenty scoops now. We haven't even moved the dial. <laughs> Not one percent yet. <laughs> oh man! But the juice sand is full and. We got, what was it, 14 scoops? So, let's see how the bear does that. Oh. Here is one scoop. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in because I'm a little bit better with the in in cap so we're not gonna count that first one that was here let me completely empty that there we go all right fresh palette Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. All right, there we go. Two. Maybe I will do better if I'm on this side. <laughs> I thought switching the sides might do me better, but it was not. It was just messing me up. Three. Four. Getting better with this. <laughs> Practice does make perfect. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, guys? That practice makes perfect. Seeks. Oh, my bad. Six, seven. things that oh huh weird maybe I am missing it because <laughs> that was eight scoops Yep. 
you lay up. Oh, there we go. So 11 scoops this time for the Le Bear. 14 scoops for the Doosan. Definitely the Doosan has a bigger capacity. Uh, full of the, the dirt, full of the dirt. So we're just gonna keep going until we're like even right across here, I think. And then we're gonna use our dozers to push the dirt. We'll see uh, how the little one does, and then we'll use the new bigger one. I believe the bigger one is a six five no a three six five hold on seven five six is the new one and where's the other one and pr seven three six is the old dozer i could not remember too many numbers man but i do know that each number does mean the like how much like tonnage i can either push or pick up this is a 56 ton nine five six um, I not sh I can't remember what the nine stands for, but the five six is the weight capacity of it. So fifty six tons it can fit in its bucket. At least that's how I've been taught to know the differences. I think the nine is like the generation of the excavator, you know. So this is like the ninth generation, but. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, let me know down in the comments below what the numbers on the machines do mean. So yeah, this this machine that we already had before the LeBear pack came out was a 56 ton excavator. We got a 36 ton excavator with the pack. I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get a bigger excavator. Um, what a bigger excavator would look like. Mm, you know, I'm honestly not sure. Um, I know there is definitely bigger excavators. Uh, I think this, I think like a 56 ton is the biggest you can put on a trailer without having to take off the arm and the tracks. <clears throat> Um, I know this because my brother has had to do one of those team moves where one driver takes the arms and the tracks and the other driver takes the, well, everything else. <laughs> so, it's quite, it's quite the sight to see, you know, you're like, oh, wow, that's a weird looking excavator. It doesn't look like it has any tracks. And then you see the other truck behind that truck with its tracks and stuff, and you're like, oh, because it doesn't have them on there. And the counterweight, too. The other truck, one truck Kate, takes the arm, the tracks, and the counterweight, and the other truck just takes the, the body of the machine because it's so big. Uh, I'm not sure the size of that machine, honestly, but I do, I'm like 90% sure that a 56 ton is the biggest excavator you can put on a trailer before having to do all that that I was telling you about. So I guess that is why they haven't put a bigger excavator in the game because they would have to figure out how to be able to transport it, right? Because people like to transport their machines. I like to transport my machine sometimes so why not other people as well well that kind of missed so we're running out of ground in front of our excavator here which is good because we'll back up we'll get our dozers push the dirt forwards in a bigger pile so that our excavator can grab it all See, I'm looking for some people to help me with this. I might have a viewer, Tank Baby, and Zing as well, who are also fellow YouTubers. And also Gaming with JJ, he might join me. Um, 
but we will have to wait and see what happens. Also, Grey Wolf Construction. I have asked him if he would like to join me on this build. He says as soon as he is done his busy life. <laughs> See where these dump trucks are at. That one's not too full. That one is full. I like the two dump truck system I got going here. It's quite handy. Like, I know I've been switching between the trucks and the excavator a lot, but you know, you really don't have to. You just park both trucks and then keep filling until you're like, yeah, that looks full. Which this truck is starting to look a little... A little full. Good enough for me. Um, yeah, let's just move forward, shall we? Let's move forward to. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, what's going on here? Stop! Run where I want you to run, fool! So Scarlett Johansson's going to be in the new Jurassic movie, if anybody cares about that. <laughs> um, Jurassic 7 or Jurassic World 4 is uh, in the works. So I'm, I am a ginormous Jurassic fan, so you can say I'm uh, pretty flippin' excited. <laughs> Whee! Ah! Broken angle. So we're going to do the little one first, see how much it pushes. Um, and then we're going to do the big one. Because, why not? So let's get to pushing, shall we? We will start, I guess, just over here. And we'll just push this. Like what we've done before. When it starts doing that, you want to back up so it doesn't <laughs> glitch out and get chucked across the map. Is what I assume would happen. Because it's happened before. Don't think it won't happen again. Because it will. Your shit will get chucked. Like Chuck Norris. stuck here. Little bit stuck. There we go. Getting unstuck now. Nice. That's pretty good. Alright, let's do one more push with our little dozer. Or I should say littler dozer, because these are pretty big dozers still. It's 
That's a lot of dirt, dude. <laughs> God damn. Just a wall. Right, see that? That's nice. Oh, I just ran into the new one. Oh boy. Racking machines. Just gonna go ahead and drive this over here. Oh no, I'm falling into oblivion. <laughs> that got scary. Just falling into a billion. Oh, wait, hold on. No, let me out. No, let me out. No. Okay. Call me break. Excellent. Okay. So this arm can pivot up and down. The other dozers can swivel right to left. This one cannot. It's just like the uh, caterpillar one that we already got in the game. I don't know if the cat... Yeah, you know what? I don't know if the caterpillar and this one are the same size. So, if someone does know, let me know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, why not share this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for many more Construction Simulator videos. This dozer is already seeming like it's working much better than pushing up with dirt. So, that's good. We are 30 minutes into the recording. Got stuck in oblivion there. That wouldn't be good, guy. Guess I'll be able to move that dump truck and excavator combo up a smidgen. I like how when I'm pushing the dirt even with the dozer, sometimes the percentage goes up like it has right now. Went from 18 to 19. So, hey, that's pretty good. Going to attempt to push this stuff. The little dozer had trouble pushing this, but not this big old one. Yes, this is a beast. This little stupid hill kind of thing going on here. It's really fucking me up, mate. You know what? You know what? I think is going on here. 
This is a ramp here, you see. Maybe not just a little ramp. It's pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Just like what I thought was going on here. Oh. Turn this way. There we go. Well, we made a little bit of progress. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know what? Let's see if I can, how much I can scoop from here. Not an incredible amount. So we're going to move up a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was one scoop. Yeah. It's a storm and outside. It's a storm outside. It rumbles like it rumbles in my tummy after tacos. Or really spicy food. <laughs> yeah. It's spicy sometimes. So yeah, I did indeed buy all the machines from the machine pack. Um... At least on this map so far. Uh, I, as I said, yesterday I was going to make a whole video talking about all this stuff in way more detail. But then the LaBear pack wasn't working. And I just wanted to go to bed. So that's why sadly there was no video on Wednesday. Mother's a video today. Which is Friday. And today I'm going to Niagara Falls. Because tomorrow, the 420, there is a uh, 420 uh, convention going on in Niagara at the convention center. So I don't really know what's going to be there, honestly. Maybe dealers, probably hydroponic stores selling their stuff um, you know probably glass smoking utensils <laughs> probably all that kind of stuff you know is what I would assume is that the steam man oh that's full that's a full little dump track. Wow, that, that is small, eh? <laughs> Maybe I'll switch it out with the cat. Where's the cat? Did I take the caterpillar away? <gasps> Where's my kitty cat one? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's there. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was terrible. <laughs> Uh, just died. <laughs> Ramp it. Ah, I did it. That went pretty good. All right, let's move this bad boy out of the way. Oh shit! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Caught it. I got it. It's a little rough. But I got it. Some people are like, what is he doing right now? Oh. Gonna flip my dump truck, apparently. <laughs> that dozer really fucked this up. <laughs> Where's that little one? It's 
Let's test out this new little one. A little excavator. Little excavator that could. Go inside for this one. A little bug it is. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this will be good for little jobs. This is not doing much for this. It'd be really cool. Really cool, but really lame all at once. If it had this glitch where it was like scooping like. 10% at a time <laughs> Just for some, some weird reason how cool would that be right now? That'd be a cool glitch to have at this very moment All right back to what I was doing before no 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 But you were all right. I wanted to get into a dump truck Do, 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 do. I really love that diff lock, man. Like, none of my trucks have gotten stuck since they have added that diff lock, I swear. Which is fantastic. I think I'm a little too close. There we go. Perfect. Now we jump back into this. And we keep scooping the dirt, yes. Keep scooping and scooping. I'm glad so far everything in this episode has gone very smoothly. Maybe I'm finally catching a break. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps, I don't know. Ow. Boom. Scooping the dirt is very fun for me. <laughs> uh, I really tried not to laugh at that. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's all right scooping this much dirt, but there's gotta be a point in a man's life where he just says enough is enough. <laughs> this is what, the fourth episode we've been doing this? And we ain't even scratched a surface. So now we got three different dumb, well, articulating dump trucks here on site. I like the variety. It uh, keeps it fresh, you know? But now that the, the LeBear pack is out, I'll probably be using majority LeBear machines. Uh, one machine that we definitely will not be using on this job site is the um, erecting crane. Uh, I believe it's new, uh, the smaller one out of the three LeBear cranes. Uh, I do remember that we had the black and white one, or black and yellow one, I mean. And then we had the really big one, which is the same size as the Zanny crane. Um, so yeah, we definitely got a, a, like a really small crane for those smaller jobs. <clears throat> Which is great, I'm totally fine with that. You know, sometimes you want a sight crane, but they're all fucking huge, right? So it's just like, well, now what am I gonna do? Just not use a crane? Like, the mobile cranes are all right, but they're kind of, they're a little, they're, they're, they're a little weird to control, you know? 
because of all the moving, like the up, down, extending. And then you have like the cable itself on the crane that moves. So mobile cranes are pretty, like they're interesting to use, right? Because there's a lot of movement. Meanwhile, the erecting cranes, you just put it up and it moves side to side. And then um, the cable is the only thing that goes up and down and forwards and backwards. So you got six different movements with the erecting crane and then with the mobile crane you have up, down, side to side with just the boom arm. Then you have extending in and out. So that's six. So there's I think eight movements you can do with a mobile crane plus drive around and then the erecting crane it's it's only got the six movements so much easier to use if you're not too um, good at the controls you know so that is my point is that the erecting cranes are easier to use so it's great that we got a smaller uh, LaBear crane to put on those smaller job sites like on the US map or European map because honestly all these jobs are way too big for that crane I'll be honest <laughs> they're so look at the size of this job like even the big cranes won't even fit here the vehicle assembly building we had to get a mobile crane because our erecting cranes were all too short and weren't reaching so yeah <laughs> that was fun Just keep scooping, boys. Days away. I have to fix this LaBear soon. Was that half damage? Holy moly. If we can get to 25, well, at least 20% this episode, because we're already at 45 minutes of recording, so we really only have 15 minutes left, but if we can get to 20% by the end of this video. That sounds great. Oh, there it is. 20%. Yes. All right. <coughs> I figured it was full. I figured it. Where's... You know, I'm just going to store that one because we're not going to use it. Uh, I'm going to store my compactor for now because we probably won't need that. Uh, I'm going to put away the crawler loader because I'm more than likely not going to use that. No, I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. Um, but I will... I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now. Gotta push this closer to the excavator. Just a smidgen closer, you know? Getting out of my reach. There we go. Alright. 
push the dart. Do we push? Do we push it? What I've noticed what helps is uh, as I'm pushing it to uh, lift the blade as well. That kind of helps with the uh, glitching out like you see. A little closer as well. Oh, no, that one. This is how big this slope is that I'm like sliding down it with a track machine. Because I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's too steep! <laughs> Why is it gotta be so steep? That went well? I will count that as a win! Just keep on keeping on, boys. Cool. Oh, a little sideways. Not the right excavator I wanted. There we go. That's the right one. That's the one! We'll start with a do sand dump truck this time. Do sand. So what else have we got left with, with the year two pass? I believe two more, well, one, uh, a machine pack, brand new machine pack, and a, another vehicle pack is left, also a cosmetic pack number three and a new campaign so that will be fun uh, as what I, what I've heard of this new campaign um, it will be exclusively on the European map which I have not even started so we will not like yeah we will definitely not be getting to that anytime soon when it comes out because um, we still got this to do we got a whole bunch of stuff to still do on the US map which we'll get back to once we're done on the spaceport but yeah I probably won't get to the European contract like new campaign co stuff um, like as soon as it comes out so Story, if that's what you were hoping for when it comes out. Which, as I said, I don't even know when the campaign comes out. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to get a machine pack before that. Um, which will be a brand new machine that we don't have yet. So, leave a comment down below what you think the machine pack will be. The new one. Um... It could be Hyundai, it could be Volvo, um, could be a European one that I have never heard of, um, could be Attachi, because I don't think we have Attachi yet, do we? Um, Gaboda, uh, what other ones? Deer, we don't have Deer yet. 
deer, it's basically caterpillar. What I've been told by numerous mechanics, like machine mechanics, um, deer and caterpillar go down the exact same manufacturing line until they get to paint, which then the paint jobs change. You know, one goes deer, one goes caterpillar, and they paint them. <laughs> so that's what I've been told by many mechanics that have worked on machines so that's not just that's not just shit I'm pulling out of my ass that's what I've heard from people who work on these machines so I only know what I've been told so if it's not true don't blame me blame the people who told me <laughs> blame them So we made it to 15 overall percent. Uh, I'm pretty sure we were 14 when we started this episode, so I'll take that as a win. Anytime we get a percentage, that's a win. Win, win, chicken dinner, chicken dinner with a win, win. <clears throat> Just started the new show, uh, The Trades. I know it came out uh, beginning of the month or something. Um, it's made by the same guys who made the Trailer Park Boys. 100% uh, Canadian. It's so far hilarious. I've only gotten through, I think, one or two episodes. Or one and a half episodes, actually. Um, yeah, hilarious. Ridiculously hilarious. Um, so far, the only actual trailer park boy in the show is Ricky. Um, but there are a few uh, other characters that I recognize from the trailer park boys. Um, one example is... Oh, fuck, I can't remember her name. Not Lucy. But one of Ricky's girlfriends. Um, the really psychotic one. Fuck, I can't remember her name. But she's in the show. Um, there's a guy in the show that was in the Leonard Kenny TV series, which I, I thought this guy was hilarious in that show. So it's good to see him in something else. All Canadian, 100% Canadian. Even the, um, the bodybuilder that I follow for my fitness advice, Johnny Shreve. Shreve? Shreve. Um, he's in the series. And he's doing pretty good, so... Yeah, good good show. Check out The Trades. Um, yeah, I think it's... I think it's... It's different from The Trailer Park Boys, you know? It's not... Like, don't go into the show being like, It's gonna be like The Trailer Park Boys. No, it's... It's not. Like, it's the same kind of humor, you know? Like, ridiculous humor. But it's not... It's totally different from The Trailer Park Boys. The boys. Buy at this food. Nine thousand. Eight thousand. Jeez, how did that make less? <laughs> I don't get it. How you can make so much less money? You piece of crap. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so hopefully one of these episodes I will get a few few good pals together so that we can get some real teamwork work done on this contract I mean it's fine if if no one wants to join me you know I'm more than capable of doing it on my own just it would definitely speed it up it would probably add to the fun of doing it as well probably entertainment value would be better I would assume just more people, more talking points. So yeah, 
yeah, we're losing daylight, but that's okay, because we are almost done the episode. Uh, what do we start the episode at? 15% like digging, or 14%? We've at least gone up 5 or 6 percent on the digging, so that's pretty good. Oh, I missed a little bit. I missed it a little bit. Oh, what are you doing, Rex? So we'll, we'll finish filling this dew sand and then we will call it a day, night, night day. We'll call it a night. <laughs> That's what we'll do. And yeah, guys, if you want to check out the dew sand pack more in depth, I go over it. I also go over what was included with hotfix number 11. Um, I'll leave this that video in the description down below. Also in the description down below are, well, is another video um, for update 11, more in depth for update 11. Um, and if you want to support the channel and look good doing it, there's a link for my merch store down below as well so if you could please 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 all proceeds will be going right back into the channel to maybe bring you guys some cool things um definitely to help purchase gameplay things i can't see anything now because it's dark I don't think we will fill the juice in, but we will empty it. Here, let's see where we're at. Yeah, we were almost there, so we'll jump out of that one. We'll jump to our kitty peeler. Jump that. All right, guys. Well, this was a fun time. We got an excavator over there. We got an excavator over here. We got excavators everywhere, boys. Holy moly. Yeah, this was a good time. Hope everyone had a blast, as I said before. Subscribe for many more videos. Do share to a friend. Leave a comment. And smack my thumbs up button. But most of all, please do keep spreading that love and peace, everyone. I just reset myself by accident. That really sucks. But <clears throat> anyways, bye-bye.